Ada, tell us another! Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins. Good to see you, darling. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. Looks like something is happening near Volker's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. I should talk to Hytham. I should speak with Hytham. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mist. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. He's got him here in England. Is he another bludge on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you. After I silence got him. Finland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There's no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I will speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. Time ago at a desert oasis, party, wonder. Oh. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave.
So Chelbet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chilbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed.
that's ill before it. We've had nothing for Nettle days. Nettle turnips. It's all I could find. Come on, boy. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar. Are you training the boy, or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Deolav is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Eva will toughen you up, but watch your back. He's a wily one. It is always the same with me, boy. When things get too quiet, I throw daggers. <laughs> I'll be on my guard. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eifor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Brits. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. Stay with me, would you? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Deolav and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ. They are all so hard and cold. Yet within his walls, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Deolav, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Deolav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of ca... You! I know your face, your stench. 
Ivar, the one they call Boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We are here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Each Torquunia on Christus ye leva pay on the shell. King Rodri, what is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Talk, talk, talk. All we... You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am, and a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bought, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Briton soldiers from Shropshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Take the silver. Depose your brother, and you will rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. <laughs> King Rodri, is it not plain that I do not wish to speak with you? Enough of this nonsense! Please, 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 please
These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be older than yet. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Apkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Hmm. Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. <laughs> Dear lady. The treasure you spoke of would help bring us to peace. If such a boon comes, I will consider your words. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself, by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> <laughs> By God Almighty, I... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Hold up a fight! Yeah! The daddy points! Eva! What have you done?! It's Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva, <laughs> you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Oh, they 
God, what carnage. We must let Bishop Dale have know that the battle is done. You did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed. <laughs> now, where were we? This was not a battle we needed, Ivar. <laughs> this was not a battle we needed, Ivar.
You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Jailbird killed, you boneless flap of leather. Ah, the diplomat speaks what he really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar. And I will send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford, the secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then... One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Outpost. If I take the cargo here, the Britons will be weakened and want peace.
extra vet. Thank gosh, T. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> 
Get me out of this cursed chicken coop. Men for Daolab's feared. More valuable than cargo. That's done. Now to track down their supply line. We will drag Rotary back to the peace table soon enough. Blessings I give you freedom. Thank now you me. give this shire your pike. I will. Let's see.
Your killer has been slain. Rest well, stranger.